here with James. James, got to start with the starting lineup. What do you think? Um, it's what I expected, to be honest. I expected Murphy to start, obviously with Gale being injured, so there was no change. Now I'm here with Lawrence. Lawrence, what did you firstly make of the starting lineup? It was uh, pretty much what I expected, to be honest. I mean, uh, we knew Dummett would come back in. I mean, we knew Murphy would uh, come back in, I think. Yeah. So I'm here with Rob. Rob, what did you make of the game? Uh, it was uh, an excellent ownership of the game. We dominated, and I think 4-0 certainly justifies um, how we dominated the game. It was crucial to get that second goal because at half-time when it was 1-0, Rotherham only had one option, and that was to try and attack us. And it was good to get that second goal right at the start of the second half. When it comes to the lineups, obviously at Birmingham, three teenagers were put out there. This this game, were there any surprises in the lineup, or were there any surprises in the substitutions? Uh, I wasn't surprised in the starting eleven for today. Uh, although I would have been, uh, I, I would have liked to have seen Hadara play instead of Dummett. Um, it was good to see Barlaza uh, on the subs bench because I thought he had a decent game on Wednesday night. And what did you make of the first half? Because I mean, I thought it was a bit rocky. I think we were definitely lucky to get in uh, one 0 up at half time. I mean, thank fuck we didn't have Matt Sells, To be fair, do you think that's fair criticism thrown at Matt Sells? I mean, come on. No offense, but like there was some crosses which I thought if Matt Sells was in goal, he might have, he probably would have dropped that. And then bringing on to the first half, I mean, I was a bit worried. Not gonna lie. What did you think? I felt the same. I thought it was gonna be another blackbird. If I'm honest, um, it, it, it's the same old, isn't it? You know, like dominating the ball, dominating possession, but we're not making the most of our chances and. It felt like Rotherham were grown into the game as the half went on and something had to change. And Rotherham, 4 0 at home. Initial yeah. thoughts? Uh, I think the first half um, was pretty dire. Yeah, I think shocking. The, 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 the sat a lot of men behind the ball, and Newcastle didn't really have any answers for it. Yeah. It was kind of breaking through. And I think when we got that first goal, which we got right on half time, it was crucial, yeah. massively crucial. I agree with that. And then we scored really early on in the second half straight away, and it just the floodgates opened. And I want some money on me bet. <laughs> Were you at all worried in the first half that Rotherham would nick a goal, especially the open goal? Uh, that that was a moment of worry, yes. But I I did feel that yes, we we were going to get the first goal. It, it it felt like it was going to come at some point. I know that Perez and Murphy missed very good opportunities to like uh, in the first half. Should have converted them, but to be honest, I, I wasn't too worried. But then obviously we got the goal, Daryl Murphy. Then second half, a truly dominant display. Would you agree? Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know why. I think we got the early goal was um, kind of bloat. To be fair, you know, I got the crowd going and um, Rom didn't really, we're trying to like, um, stop being, being more. And then obviously in the second half, a bit of a dominant display, would you agree? Yeah, I agree. I think Rotherham tired out a bit. I think our quality shone in the, in the whole game. Um, it was just if and how many we could get. And I mean, I, I mean, like, I was there when Rotherham missed the open goal. I mean, to be honest, I didn't see it because I had right. my head in my hat. But um, it was, uh, I mean, they definitely had that chance. I mean, it could have been a very, very, very different game. I mean, James was Donald. saying, could have been a, you know, that could have been like a Blackburn, to be honest, yeah. where we've just um, not performed. But, you know, the second half, the floodgates opened. And um, I have to say, they performed very, very well after the goal went in. Uh, the confidence grew, and you hear the stadium, it was growing. But, um, yeah, so overall, we've got to be pleased with a win, and we're back at the top of the league. Yeah, we're top of the league. I think it's crucial, the Darlow moment, because Darlow come out, done a Matt Sells, didn't he, as we would call it, and then, <laughs> and then brilliant yeah. defending by, I think it was Clark, wasn't it, more or yeah. less on the line, but it should have been a goal. But if that was if that was in, it's a different game. But yeah, Very we're top much. the league. We expect to beat Rotherham. Yeah. Uh, the way top, we're back top the league. They're bottom the league. We'll just march on. Do you have a man of the match? Um, Richie, surely. Yeah, but yeah. To be honest, I think Richie should have got a hat trick. He was unlucky. I think you could see at the end of the game when he got the second goal, he, he was pushing them on. He really wanted it. You could see some of the tackles, some of the flying tackles he was making. He wanted that third goal, and you, you could tell towards the end that he was getting he was a bit good when he but he got two goals and the team scored four goals. We have to say, Sammy has to be a contender. But um, <laughs> one of the main transfer rumours at the minute is Andros Townsend being looking for loan back to Newcastle, option to permanent buy. After Richie's performance, scoring two against Birmingham, two today. Do you think we should go for him? Is there anyone else who you think we should go for? To be honest, I like Richie and Gufan as our main wingers. I, I, I don't like the thought of having to drop one of them. So Townsend, he wouldn't be high on my list of priorities. I've heard Thomas Ince also being rumoured as a link with the club. Um, I have spoken to friends of mine who are Blackpool fans and they say that he was very much a highlights player in the sense that he would only look good on the highlights show uh, and not 
that good. He was a bit overrated, they thought, uh, of his time at Blackpool. At the minute, in terms of transfers, the links, Thomasins, Andros Townsend, seems like a winger's a priority. Would you say that for yourself, especially considering Richie has scored two in the past two games? I'd say the uh, central attack and midfield position, midfield positions were a priority. But um, yeah, I've got a feeling we'll get Townsend on one. Would you want him? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, I know some people are going to say he didn't, but I think he's made his mistakes. And if he gives 100% again, then uh, we'll all forgive him. Uh, moving on to transfers. Main links in the minute, I mean, Tom Ince has been tooted around, but doesn't seem that strong. Nah. McLaren seems to cross you know, the You know what I think about Tom Ince? I said this start yeah. of the season, didn't I? Um, for me, it, if Amiobi stays, I don't think we'll sign a winger. No. Really? I don't think. even Townsend? Because if Amiobi stays, what's the point in having Amiobi? If he goes back on loan, I think that might give you a bit of an indication that, he's, that we're going to bring someone else in. Yeah. I think if, what's key at the minute is the centre of the field, for me. Do you not reckon? I think so. I mean, we saw how what this team was like without John Joe Shelby in it. But it's, it's difficult to see where we're going to get that from. I mean, you know, it's the January transfer window. Prices are inflated. Teams really seem unwilling to loan out players. I mean, it's, it's difficult to see where it's going to come from. But if I had to have a priority, I would say something midfield because I think wingers... Would you have got a name? Not at all. Not a clue. I've, I've even looked. Moving on to transfers. Um, links at the minute, Andros Townsend, Thomas Sinks. Seems like a winger's a priority. Do you think we should get them? Uh, I would definitely get Townsend on loan uh, because I don't think I think I think we want to buy him a Palace I think we'd want a loan deal I think we'd both want a loan deal I think it would, it would make perfect sense yeah. um, and I think you know at the end of the day we'll have got, we've got a decent team I think I mean we can you know we can make changes we can bring the changes we have got a few injuries but at the end of the day the will be back soon and I think have, you know if we get Townsend I think it'd be like, put on loan to see what happens yeah. you know, it'll make perfect sense well just to add to that I mean if Townsend comes who do you drop? Uh, <laughs> Alright, so next game is Oxford away in the FA Cup. Do you think there's a surprise on the cards? Do you think we're going to make it through? I think we'll make it through. Um, I, don't, I don't want to jinx anything uh, by saying uh, that we'll definitely win. It's, it's not going to be easy, but yeah, I think we've got enough quality to, uh, to win the game. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Next game, Oxford away in the FA Cup. Do you think we'll make it through or do you think this is where we bow out embarrassingly? Surely we've got to make it through. I definitely think we'll make it through probably 2-0, or at least 2-0. Yeah. I'll see how they got on and uh, who's um, available for the game. And obviously sign-ins. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Cheers, Lawrence. Cheers. Well, the next game is Oxford away in the FA Cup. Uh, do you think this is where we got in a blaze of glory? It's not going to be an easy game, mind eh? Oxford away, because, you know, we've played a lot of these, like, League 2 clubs away. Like, the likes of Stevenage and we've been beaten 3-1. You know, we've taken them lightly. And, they, you know, and they're like, oh, well, we, you know. And I think... It'll not be an easy game, but I think, you know, if we play a strong team, I don't see why we can't go down there and get the win. And if yeah. not, we'll have another replay and we'll do the, do the damage at home like we did on uh, Wednesday against Birmingham. Okay. So, brilliant. Cheers, You're welcome. Man. Have a good night. You too. Yeah. We've got Oxford and you would think Rafael will probably rotate. Would you agree on that? Yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, um, I think he said in an interview that the under-23s, they're not that likely to play again. But I think he has to does make some changes. I think um, he will. I think he will for the Oxford game. He's got to chuck in the fringe players. Yeah. And I think the FA Cup, Rafa, the way, the way his team selection, the way he's saying about the FA Cup is more if it's a, it's not a priority. Yeah, I'd agree with that as well. I mean, but you know, our priority right now is to get promoted and seeing the team still left in the in the FA Cup. I mean, it'd be great, yeah. but I have to say our chances are quite slim. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll I think we'll get past uh, Oxford. Worst case scenario, if he puts a reserves team out, yeah. get a replay. Uh, not what we want that, but I think FA Cup. I'm not too fussed. I would like a cup run. I'm not going to lie. I love the triple Wembley and the honeymoon, but we haven't got the squad to do that. If you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and we'll be seeing you later.